Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching the lesson on cross-references. If you watch the bookmarks video, you saw what cross-references can do with respect to bookmarks. In this lesson, we will go more in depth into the different types of cross-references. Here's the scenario. You have a document with numbered headings as well as a table and figure. And you would like to cross-reference to those items throughout your document. Watch this video to learn how to do this. A cross-reference is a hyperlink where a label is automatically inserted at the cursor position. Let's take a look at the cross-reference dialog box and see what types of cross-references there are. Go to the Insert tab and in the Links group, select Cross-Reference. The cross-reference dialog box is displayed. Let me walk you through the different fields in this dialog box. In the Reference Type field, there's a drop-down to the right of the field. When you click on it, you are presented with some choices. Numbered item are fields such as numbered heading fields or numbered item lists. Heading are items that have the style called heading associated to them, such as heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, etc. Bookmarks are items that have been created as bookmarks. Footnote and endnote are items that have that style associated with them. There are also reference types that are captions, such as equation, figure, and table. When you click on these items, the equations, figures, and tables will be shown in the For Which Caption field. In the Insert Reference To field, there is also a drop-down. And depending on the reference type you select, will determine what choices are available in this field. For instance, in the Numbered Item Reference Type, there is Page Number, Paragraph Number, Paragraph Text, and the Above and Below selection. For instance, if you choose page number, it would enter a field code for the page number that the cross-reference is located on. If you selected one of the paragraph numbers, it would enter the paragraph number at the cursor location. Paragraph text would enter the name associated with that item. For instance, if I selected 1.1, Section 2 dash subsection, it would enter the text Section 2 subsection. If you selected above slash below, it would include the word above or below depending on the location of the cross reference in relation to your cursor location. The include above slash below checkbox is available if the Insert Reference To selection has the word number in it, such as page number, paragraph number, etc. For instance, if you select the reference type Numbered Item 1.1 Section 2 subsection, and the Insert Reference To was paragraph number, and the Include Above Below box was checked, it would insert 1.1 above or 1.1 below, depending on the location of the cross-reference. The Insert as Hyperlink checkbox will add a hyperlink to the field code so that when you click on it with your mouse, you will be taken directly to that cross-reference. If the box is unchecked, it will place the label only as a field code with no hyperlink. Now let's go back to the text in our document. Now I want to add a cross-reference to section 1.1 in my section 1 paragraph. So I want to highlight 1.1. I want to go to cross-reference 
and I want to select numbered item. When number item is selected, it will bring up these choices in insert reference to. I want the paragraph number added. I want to select 1.1 in the for which numbered item, and I want it inserted as a hyperlink. I want to click insert and then close. Now when I click on it, you can see it's a field code for 1.1. I click on it and it takes me right to that section. Now I want to add a cross reference to my table one in section 1.1. So I want to highlight table one and I want to go to my cross reference. And now I want to select table. And in the for which caption field, I want to select table one. Since I don't want the entire caption entered into my paragraph, I want to select only the label and number. So I only want it to say table one. Now I will click insert and close. And when I click on it, it will take me directly to table one. Let's do the same thing with figure one. Highlight figure one, go to cross reference. Now we want to select figure. Again, we don't want the entire caption. So we only want the label and number. Click insert and then close. Now when we click on figure one, it will take us directly to figure one. And that is the end of this lesson cross-references.